The pros and cons of using cell phones in the classroom. Using electronic devices in the classroom can be distracting to students and lead to lower grades. In a research study by the Pew Research Center, nearly 75% of teens have access to a smartphone, and with open Wi-Fi network. Cell phones can contribute to the learning taking place in the classroom. Learning apps help students to develop study skills, organizational skills for a course. Digital platforms, social media such as Twitter, keep students engaged in a lesson and encourage more students to participate in class. Supplementing the lesson with digital material and letting students research topics promotes classroom discussion. The students can take ownership of their learning in the classroom. How cell phones can be included in classroom instruction, there are also unintentional issues that often arise. This leads to the cons or negative impact of devices in the classroom. Students use their cell phones to check social media and text their friends in class. This is a distraction for the student. Some students cheat by using their cell phones to access information during a test. As a result, the students do not adequately learn the material to be proficient on a test. Too much use of cell phones in class decreases collaborative learning and face-to-face -face communication opportunities in the classroom. The increased use of cell phones can lead to cyberbullying in the classroom. What does research suggest about successfully implementing the use of cell devices in the classroom? Change the classroom dynamic from lecturing at the front of the room to having a facilitative approach. Roam around the classroom to encourage student accountability. Suggestion number two. Use educational friendly apps to keep students engaged in what is going on in the class. Use the Remind app to remind students of upcoming assignments, and Poll Verywear to assess students' understanding of a lesson fee. Allow students to use their cell phones to research topics from the lesson in the classroom, and to access links to digital resources teachers provide for Suggestion number 4. Allow students to listen to music while completing individual assignments in the classroom, using headphones. Some students tend to focus better when they are listening to music while completing class assignments. Having cell phones or any mobile device in the classroom is not the real issue in the classroom. The real issue is the student's ability to multitask. Students believe that they can multitask in the classroom. They believe they can text, be on social media, and still understand the task in a classroom activity. Teachers can work to transition a classroom into a mobile device-friendly environment, where students can incorporate the latest technology into the learning process. Teachers can work to transition a classroom into a mobile device-friendly environment where students can incorporate the latest technology into the learning process. Professional development, training among practitioners needs to be the next steps to take to move in the right direction of improving our educational system. Innovative teachers are ahead of the curve. They understand the psychology behind using technology as part of the teaching and learning process. Innovative teachers understand how to use anecdotes to reinforce the appropriate use of technology. What are the next steps an educator can take? Number 1. Advocate at your school. Number 2. Collaborate with your PLT and administrators. Number 3. Conduct action research. Number 4. Facilitate professional development. Number 5. Reflect to make necessary changes.